Good morning and welcome to my channel. What I'm doing today is I'm reviewing the Sennheiser MKE 200 microphone. So I'm gonna do a little like vlog test, wind test. That's why I'm going now. I'm walking down to the beach to do a couple of tests and just have a little explore and enjoy, enjoy this lovely day. So um, yeah, on to it. Let's do a couple of tests and see how this microphone handles. Right, okay, I'm going to walk about and I'm just testing out this uh, Sennheiser microphone and the levels look pretty good on the screen. I'm just doing a little handheld walking, talking vlog piece to see how it, how it helps, you know, how it stabilizes the sound because apparently there is a little shock mount inside it. But it's it's nice and compact mic, that's why I like it. It's, it's good and I think I will change over from the road to this because it's just so small and I'm just waiting to see the results of how powerful and useful it, this is. So yeah, I'm currently just having a lovely walk and I'm heading towards a cliff because what I'm hoping to do now is to do a little little wind test with it. I've got the dead cat on and I'm hoping the wind will, um, well, hopefully there'll be a bit of wind and we'll see how this microphone copes in the wind. on the walk and there's these two sheeps over there having a scrap don't know why it's over there, they got beef though this is the first time I'm uh, vlogging on the S5 and at the moment I think it's fantastic it's got this nice big wide field because it's full frame and I think the autofocus is being alright had a bit of a trouble at the start of it but now I've played around with some settings, it's getting better and I'm, I'm really enjoying it and getting used to it. I don't know if you can hear, you can hear the ocean in the background, there's some planes up above, so I don't know how this is affecting the sound. Um, but we'll soon find out with the wind test now how, how this mic holds, holds up in different environments. I've just walked down to the cliff edge where the wind normally bellows in from down here. However, there's not a lot of wind in the air today. I've picked a good day to come to the beach because uh, it's quite nice. It's a bit cold, but it's, it's still quite nice. So the wind test, I'm going to have to cut. There's a little bit of wind, but there's not loads enough to affect the microphone, I don't think. So what we're going to do is I'm going to go down to the beach and I'm going to put it close to the sea and see how, how well it deals with the sea noise in the background of me speaking instead. So let's go down on the beach and do that. Okay, so one of these things I like about this microphone in particular is that the wire for it is it's on the front, it's not on, on the back like the road. So what this allows you to do is it allows you to use the eyepiece when you take photos. Now I know not everybody is a big fan of using the eyepiece when you take photos, but I use it all the time, I think it's great and it's, it's how I get a really clear advantage of all my photos I'm taking. So if you want to switch between a film mode and a camera and the, and the picture mode and not have to like rewire it, move the wire, take the mic off, this is great. They really thought about you know, a, a content creation and about all the different means for it. You know, you're not just doing videos, you're taking photos. And they've really thought about it within this microphone. Okay, so right now I'm standing, I don't know, a fair distance away, I'd say about 10 meters away from the camera. And in the background over there, there's the ocean. And over there, there's a big cliff face, and there's loads of water running down it. So there's quite a lot of different noise noises going on, and they're all quite white noises. I want to see how dynamic this microphone is, and how well it picks up my voice from this distance, with all of this noise going on in the background. So let me know what you think about it. If it's you know blocking it out enough to hear me, or whether it's drowning it out, and there's a lot of static coming from all the white noise different elements in the background. Now, I'm not a really sound guy. Well, I like to think I am. But anyway, no, I, I don't know anything about sound. I'm not a sound 
geek or whatever, I'm a filmmaker. And understanding sound is very important. And I don't really fully understand it yet. I'm still learning a lot about it. So I want to know more about it. I want to push my development in filmmaking. And that is by making, creating different sounds and understanding the sounds. Normally I just whack the mic in, set the level, bam, forget about it. Don't really do much else in post. I add a limiter just so it doesn't peak. And then maybe a little compressor. But other than that, I don't know anything about all these different dynamics. So I'd love to learn about it. And I think this microphone will allow me to do that in a range of different situations and vlogging is one of them with this mic that's why I sort of want to use it is to do more vlogging but can I do that with this mic will it allow me that's why I'm doing this test is to really find out so I just want to talk about this Lumix for a second I'm really enjoying it and especially the 20 to 60 millimeter lens it's great because it's like the 20 is just nice and wide for these sort of talking head pieces um, that you do and then the 60 is a nice zoom in so if you're too far away for like I filmed some sheep earlier and I was quite far away you know you can zoom in right the way to it it's fantastic now I'm using this handle it came with it it's like a sort of like a tripod because I was getting a bit over the gorilla pod and it's sort of great it's just it is a little bit heavier than the Canon, so that's one of the things I'm gonna to have to get used to. But I think it's, it's a fantastic lens, and it's great for vlogging, because I know a lot of people use a 16 to 35 millimeter, but I think this is just perfect as well, because it's still wide enough, and you've got the zoom as well to punch in and, and get what you need to get extra little bits of B-roll that you couldn't get before. I'm in the forest now and I'm going to do a little nature test to see how well it copes with the sound of birds and the trees blowing. So I'm just going to leave it go for a minute and see what sounds I can take from it. All right, so I've done all the outside tests I want to do. Now I'm going to go test it inside as it's getting... It's that time of the year where it's getting pretty cold, so I'm going to go in, warm up, and do a couple of tests inside. So I'll catch you back at the ranch. So I've just gotten back from the beach and I've had a cup of tea to warm myself up and uh, I'm nice and cosy now and I've just looked over the footage on my laptop and it sounds incredible. The, the footage where I'm down by the, the beach is, is fantastic. I thought I would be able to hear myself on it because I was standing a distance away and there's a lot of other sounds going on in the background. However, I can hear myself perfectly fine. And th this is fantastic because I was standing a distance away and there was the ocean in the background and the water falling down the cliff. And the other footage as well, when I'm like handheld, walking, vlogging, um, there's obviously a lot of movement there and it handles the shakes and the bounce. You can't even hear it or the rattling. I know on the Lumix there's, um, there's these little metal pins or, you know, just put the strap in on each side and they rattle a bit, but you can't hear any of that. You can't hear any of the bounce or the movement on the camera whatsoever. It, it's fantastic. It, it was shock and it, it absorbed it all. Um, and I had the dead cat on when I was there and it, it, it worked really well, I think. Now I'm still on it here. I've taken the dead cat off because I want to see how it reacts with this room. This room is very big. There's the acoustics in it are terrible. There's a lot of echo and reverb from it. So I want to see how this microphone sounds in here because I, I think I'm going to use this as my, my everyday microphone instead of putting the lav on and all that I'm just going to use this because I feel like it's dynamic enough to be able to deal with a range of environments. Now this is the old one by here it's the Rode Go which I was using before and it, it, it's still compact don't get me wrong it's almost as compact as the, the uh, other one the dead cat's a little bigger but I found like the dead cat may have made the sound a bit muffly because it was so big and the microphone on the front was 
tiny and this shock always it had a weight so it way down like this so it would be wouldn't be putting up if he's putting down whereas the Sennheiser is always on that level because it's got an in-house shock absorber to it also with the Sennheiser that like I said earlier the cables on the front so before when I try to take photos with this you know it would this would catch my eye or I'd have to take it off take the cable out it, it, it was rather annoying but I think that Sennheiser has really thought about the content creation environment and being able to adapt to take quick photos, videos, whatever you need in your you know mirrorless or DSLR camera and have that adaptability within their product and I think that's a fantastic point that it, it makes me going to use it more because I'm always switching between taking photos and videos when I'm out like walking like I was today so I think that is a massive plus point. Okay so I've just quickly changed over the microphone and now I'm on the road go. So I'm gonna listen now and play them side by side, dropping them in and out and see which one sounds better to you. So there's a little bit of a comparison of the quality difference. I think that the, the Sennheiser is fantastic and it's dynamic and it's got a really crisp, natural sound to it where the go, the go, the road go was a bit rough around the edges and it wasn't quite as clear, I don't think. So, but I'll let you be the judge of that. I'm gonna play them side by side now. So here's me talking. This is the Rode Go. This is what it sounds like. And this is how the Sennheiser sounds. Now, I'm definitely gonna be changing over. I thought I'd never use this as it was given free with this camera. It's like, I thought it was a bit of a gimmick but I'm really impressed with the quality of it and I'll definitely be changing over. Overall, I think this microphone is fantastic for the everyday content creator. I think it's adaptable, affordable, and very well thought out by Sennheiser and the quality is fantastic. It works well in all different environments, outside, inside, and I think it is an all round good microphone if you wanna start vlogging or doing pieces to camera Sound is so important for your videos. It's, films and videos are 50% sound, 50% visual. If you have terrible audio, nobody will watch it. So you need to really invest in sound if you're gonna do it, and I feel like this product is a great investment for your money, as the quality is outstanding. At the end of the day, I'm no sound expert though. I think that you should listen for yourself, and if you like the sound of it, go for it. And if you have any tips or tricks about sound, I'd love to hear them in the comments below. Or if you think there's a better alternative out there, I'd love to hear from you. I know that the Deity have one that is back and forth, you know, you can use it at both ends, but I think that's a, like just gonna get in the way again at the eyepiece, whereas this is really well thought out for content creation. So let me know in the comments below what you think of it all this video I'd really love to hear from you please hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe to my channel to find more videos like this hopefully I'll bring in a couple more about a range of different products over the coming weeks but yeah until the next one I'll see you later